Reverb and delay are two essential plugins for any audio engineer. They help create the space, depth, and width that are crucial to a modern mix. That's why we created the Plugin Essentials Pack for Mixbus. It contains all the tools you need to make a polished, professional mix. You can add space and ambience with Gverb Plus and depth and width with the 3D triple delay. So here are some of the unique features of Gverb Plus. First of all, you'll notice we have all of our presets here out in the open. To quickly listen to a preset, we don't have to go through a menu. We can just click on it as we see it. It doesn't take long to get a good sound in Gverb. The cool thing is, is that once we have a preset selected and we start making changes, other presets will start to light up. This means that you're getting close to the setting of another preset. For instance, small hall is starting to get brightly lit, so we're probably getting close to it. If we just want to select it, it was close to where we were already at. We've got two different reverbs in this plugin. We've got one with a low cutoff and one with a high cutoff. After we've adjusted them, we can actually adjust the mix between the two. Another cool thing is we've got a dry and wet solo here, and they're momentary. So if I want to audition just the dry, I click, and then when I release, it goes right back to where it was. Same thing goes for the wet. Here are some unique features of the 3D triple delay. First of all, you'll notice that I have three different delay tabs. I've got the left, the right, and the sum delay tab. These can be panned and timed independently of each other. Right now I have them on the 16th note grid, but if I take off the grid, I can just move them independently. Another cool thing is that we've got this tempo sync here. Now right now I've got this synced up to my session at 174 BPM. But let's say I changed the tempo of my session. Let's say I changed it to 150. The delay will automatically change if you've got this sync engaged. Notice it changed to 150. It also works if I insert a time change. So let's say I inserted a tempo change of 174. When my tempo changes, the delay will automatically change with it. So let's change my delay back, or my tempo back here to 174. Another thing you'll, you'll notice is we've got a dry and wet knob here. Now the way this works is if I'm listening to my delay, I can audition just the dry, which is the drums coming into it. When I release it, it goes right back to where it was. So it's a momentary solo. Same thing goes for the wet, if I just want to hear the delay. You'll notice too that we've got our presets here out in the open. There's no menus to go through, so we can just click on the one that we'd like to hear. Down here we have our feedback controls. This first knob adjusts how much we either want the sum tap feeding into the left and right taps, or vice versa and we can adjust the amount we'd like that here. This is good for creating a spatial effect. The second knob here adjusts how much the left and right feed back into each other. This is good for creating a ping pong effect. This fourth knob down adjusts how much each delay tap feeds back into itself. That's how we get our tape style loop delay. 
and then there's a damping control to adjust how much roll off occurs over time. The cool thing is, is that once we've got all of our feedback controls adjusted, we actually have a global feedback control. So we can adjust it to pretty much the point of insanity as I'm about to show you. We can ride that and we can automate it. We can create really cool effects using the global feedback control.